This is the Deerfield Conservation Committee meeting for October 24th, 2019, and it's 7 o'clock. And those present are Louis Mission. Uh, ben Byrne. And Bill Mayer, PC. Okay, let's see. I think we have some new business. Uh, let's see. Now we got some old business here. And I think the, the quicker one will be uh, uh, 254 River Road, a certificate of compliance. And John Sasperski, you want to just explain uh, a little something that you what you're looking for and what come you up, feel state your done. name. Okay, my name is John Sasperski. I live at 254 River Road in South Deerfield. And I had a little project at my house over the last few years in putting in a dock. And uh, part of what I had to do was uh, get a, a Conservation Commission approval in order of conditions. Uh, the dock was installed. It's been inspected by the DEP within the last month or so. And they instructed me in order to get their final approval one of the things I needed to do was to get the order of conditions um, approved by this board. Okay, and uh, Bill and I did a site visit today, and uh, you know we walked the dock and uh, the stairs, and it, uh, it looks it looks fine. And uh, I know that's what you know the intent was to install the. Uh, movable dock and uh, I see no issues while we were out there I yeah say it was complete I think the impact is is minimal so it's I'd say that we're complete so I don't I don't see a reason why not the signer at, at this time and you're looking for a, a complete certification a complete certification yeah yeah so I uh, make a motion to uh, sign off on it. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. So let's sign this. Okay. I'm not sure, John, if, when this will be ready, because mm -hmm. I, I think Priscilla's got to do something and okay. make, scan some copies. And, and then she'll let me know, and yeah. I'll grab Yeah, it. I'll talk to her. She's, like I say, she's retired, and uh, so uh, she's helping out a little bit. So. Oh, okay. Okay, great. So I'll hear her, and then yeah. we're done. Thank you. But you're all set as far yep. as we're Thank concerned. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. Okay. All right. good Have a good night. All right, let's see. And some other old business continued from uh, last month. It was the uh, RDA request for number 10 Greenfield Road mm -hmm. curb cut. And you could state who's present here. Uh, Matt Plotkin, representing the Applicant Greenfield Road LLC, and this is Mark Reed from Heritage Thank Service. You. Evening. Evening. Did uh, <coughs> did you get? I believe you were getting copies, emailed copies, or electronic copies of the plans for five and ten. Yes, that Mass Highway yeah. had prepared. They did send me uh, the the plans. Yes, they did. And did you notice that uh, about the wetlands and the intermittent stream is considered in that area? According to their plans, um, they have a line on the plan showing that it's an in intermittent stream uh, running along the uh, frontage, which is owned by uh, 10 Greenfield Road LLC. Okay, um, I it's our opinion that it's really not an intermittent stream. Uh, 
you know, there's no defined channel, um, and that the um, there's no flow in it. No, there's no flow in it, but I, I talked to Mark Stenson, and there was a couple comments he made. Okay. And that first, he, uh, he was sending a copy of the RDA to Mass DOT. And they were looking up because you're supposed to send, I guess, a copy to them. We already filed the, our application with Mass DOT before um, we all filed the RDA with you. Okay, did the RDA um, go to them or uh, just for them to review or? It was a requirement from them that we file with the Conservation Commission and get approval for the curb cut permit. And then after we get approval, send it back to them. Okay, because the way Mark, Mark was talking that he emailed it to their environmental okay. person. And as of tonight, they heard, you know, late this afternoon, they haven't got back. So, and the other comment he had, or he suggested, was that because it's an intermittent stream and that area is wet because of all this, you know, wetland markings and everything that, you know, the best interest would be to have you hire a sci wetland scientist to actually do something, not just hearsay that it's, it's dry and it's, uh, you know, you know, that uh, someone that has a little more experience mm -hmm. in that area, either do some flagging if he does find something, to put it on the plans, and, uh, and see what his uh, reaction is to that area and what your plans are, if he thinks that this should work or not. Because down the road, you know, we have Cumberland Farms with a uh, a lot larger, uh, air, you know, arched area, uh, entrance. So I'm not saying that's what you need, but you know, it's either you know we can you can do something like that, we can continue it, and you can further investigate the uh, area there, see if it is considered wetlands or a res you know a resource area, or you know. We could just say that you plan it on filling in an area and you would need a notice of intent. So I don't, you know, I think you have, a, you know, a kind of a choice there. I can't tell you what to do, but he suggests, you know, that he wanted to hear from Mass DOT, which is one thing, you know, we have to wait on to see what their remarks were from him. And, uh, and like I say, the other about a wetland scientist yeah. to, to do a study or just, you know, check the uh, area there. Mm -hmm. And he knows more of the regulations. And mm -hmm. if it's in a buffer zone or, you know, I'm not saying you can't do anything there. It's just there's a little more to it than just throwing the pipe in. Basically, since it's already been flagged as a yeah. wet area, they want somebody yeah. official of to Of course, Mark's gone over all those anything. plans there, too with the uh, intermittent stream, so. So you concur with the Mass DOT plans that it is an intermittent stream along this frontage there then? We don't concur or deny, but no, the fact it's, that it's been previously marked that way that it you're has accepting to. accepting, yeah. The notice of yeah, because, plans you know, has, right. has filed with you. Right, we're, we're just, that area is, con, could be concerned, you know, concerned to us on that or filling in air, the area where, like you're saying, you know, a 12-inch pipe. And, and I think the offer to uh, have an independent environmental consultant like a wetland scientist come may help your case because then that gives you somebody else that, you know, can say or can answer to what Mark Stinson is concerned about or can answer to what the environmental consultant's concerns could be from MassDOT. We don't know exactly what their concerns like Louie was right. saying, we're still waiting for, for that um, feedback. But mm -hmm. you know, hiring them could be a something for you. It could be a you know a, a good. It's basically protect you too, if they say you know, there is wetlands here. You start working, and there's wetlands there. Then you know there'll be a halt, halt in construction, and uh, 
cease and desist. If it could, you know, lead to that or something. So I'm just saying that to your benefit, you should hire, you know, hire, have someone investigate that area and uh, see what they say, see mm -hmm. what their recommendation is. They you could know. say it's not and fill it in, and then you got a rubber stamp of somebody that's certified. Well, I guess one of the issues is that it, you know we, if we hire a, a environmental consultant um, to look at the area and he feels it's not an intermittent stream, yet Mass Highways consultants feel it, it is, then there's two differences of opinion. Um, well, and that's to discuss that with Mark, but you know that's it, you know it's a so who's Who's having your own factor? Having your own independent would probably give you a little bit more firepower. Yeah, than just you saying it, it doesn't look like one. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all. I mean, you're not going to be doing any work now, anyways. You know, it's not like it's you're starting tomorrow. Correct. Right. So I think, you know, just for, you know, best for, for both of us is to uh, have it investigated more and have a wetland scientist look at it or. And then we'll, we'll just continue it and, and see what, uh, what they suggest to do. See what I mean, they might have a suggestion of saying, oh, you're going to have to do a notice of intent. So then, then you'll just have to do that. You know, that might be the route you might have to do. And then again, you might not. Okay. You know, I agree with you, you know, and I mentioned to Mark, you know, and he said that, granted, it's mowed, but that doesn't mean anything other, you know, that it's not an intermittent stream, mm -hmm. just because someone you know mows it. You know it was dry at the time, mm -hmm. so so we can continue it if you like and investigate it more. All right. Well, your intent is to sign the DOT documents today, saying that's an intermittent stream, correct? We are. Yes. Okay. Well, then, if that's well, what you're agreeing with, then it, there's we're no signing off on their specific plans. Correct. Yeah, which we're, says we're, that it's yeah, an intermittent on the stream. plans. We're, it's not. We're agreeing to their markings. We're agreeing to what's happening with the plan and how they're protecting the area. Well, I believe that that if you approve the plans as submitted, you know, one we of accept the, the plans as you submitted. accept. You accept the plans as permitted. Then you're accepting the wetland boundaries or intermittent stream boundaries as shown on the plan. So therefore, then it becomes an intermittent stream. And I think if you have a question about it, which it sounds like you do, then I would suggest that maybe you do not accept those plans at this time. Right. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. We're just accepting those plans, the project. You, like I said, you can do work in the area. <clears throat> and if they want to call it that, and that's what they said it is, then that's fine. I'm just saying that your little corner might be a little different, that's all. You know, it still might be an intermittent, intermittent stream, but, you know, it, that, that doesn't, uh, uh, let's see. They, they're only going to the state property and stuff. That's what they're showing. They're not over in your property. Your property on the other side of the fence it's got cattails over there. And we're not and, working in that area at all. Well, you're working near it, so you're work within the area. And is that considered, you know, what is that considered? That's where the wetland scientists might, you know, advise you on what to do. Well, the issue is the state property that is being marked as an intermittent stream. And, and, okay, okay uh, we'll accept it and we can, uh, you, can, you can do a notice of intent. That's if that's what you want. The other side of that is, is we're not necessarily accepting their plans as all of their wetland marks on their map are specifically wetlands. What we are doing is they're saying, okay, this could be, this could be, this could be, we're gonna protect here, we're gonna protect here, we're gonna grind this, we're gonna pave that. It's not necessarily an acceptance of what is or isn't wet, it's so much as that they are protecting and doing their due diligence, I guess would be another way of looking at it because we don't necessarily, uh, uh, we don't create any of those boundaries. Um, all of their smarter people do that for us. 
I guess my <laughs> problem is if you're accepting these plans and then I hire a wetland scientist that says from here to here where we're building this curb cut is not an intermittent stream, but you have already approved these plans, then where are you siding? And then again, too, is they're going off of their old maps. I don't know if they actually go out and delineate every area of that road that they pave. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, wasn't the wetland scientist that was here last meeting from, that was the wetland scientist from yeah. Mass DOT. Well, it wasn't DOT, he was consultant. Or consultant, consultant, consultant working yeah, with consultant Mass DOT. The environmental, not the designer. Yeah, yeah, he was the environmental consultant. Now that's what with, they feel. So. With Mass DOT. So, um, actually, I appreciate your question. And I think that where you go next is that, you know, the, if you choose to hire the independent environmental consultant, that person, if they disagree, would have to present to, you know, uh, to or against the consultant that presented to us for Mass DOT. I mean, I don't you, think yeah, it's a... You're the ultimate approving uh, authority. Yeah. One way or the other. Yeah. Correct. I just and, don't want to go down that then, road if we're going to be at a notice of intent anyways, is what I'm saying. So are we going to do all this, and then you're going to say, well, we approve this, so we have to do a notice of intent. I just don't want to waste that time well, that's if that's where we're you have, you have an option. It, uh, you know, we're going by just what's, what has been looked at, and it's only the state property. You still own property, and there's wetlands could be in the corner of your property over on the other side there. If it's in that uh, area, what I'm saying, then, it, then you've got a, a resource area. So that corner could be, uh, you know, could be more than what Mass DLT had, you know, marked out. And again, we can't tell you to go one way or the other. Um, no, I'm just saying we, your we options have to go based are, on, yeah. If we have to go based on what DOT is suggesting us to, to provide you with information, and you have to kind of go from there. As frustrating as I'm sure that is. <laughs> no, that's, that's why, you know, Mark suggested, we, we, you know, I don't think, I don't know if they're even working in that area. They marked it and they just probably assumed, I don't know. But it, it doesn't affect their project. So we're not checking every single spot on there, on their so, plan. So when they filed the notice of intent, they didn't request that you make a determination of the resource areas on, along for the project? Uh, I believe they go by whatever they have on their previous maps and... Yeah, I mean, did we not actually at that last meeting take a look at the resource areas that, that were Yeah, flagged. when they changed, and uh, Mark reviewed it and came up with his comments on that area. So he didn't have any comments in that spot that I know of. So I'm just going by what Mark said and, mm -hmm. you know. And, I did uh, not speak to Mark so about it, so I, I'm not, you know. So that's kind of the tip of my tongue. I'm wondering because we we started the conversation where that we were awaiting further feedback um, from Mark Stinson and Mass DOT, and I think one of the f first things Louis said is, you know, it might be a good idea to await the results of that feedback. Correct? Well, we haven't heard anything. He was he told me he was forwarding the info because the environmentalists for. Mass DLT hasn't seen it, mm -hmm. so the RDA. So he was sending it to him. That was he was the one. He was one of them that was here before. I think your meeting, you came for the original five and ten. Mm -hmm. So he he's aware of that whole set of plans, and uh, so I just haven't heard any comments from that or from Mark. Mark said he was going to forward it to him because. He doesn't think they received, you know, a copy of it. And I think it's required on the RDA. No, it's not. No, just the DEP? Yep. Right. So, and we, we, they already knew uh, about the Mass DOT. We did the filing with them, so they knew about the project. So, right. So he was looking into it, and then like yep. I say, I have okay. And, uh, Yes, yeah, so under a, you know under their access permit application. Yeah. Anytime you make a 
you know, want to put a driveway in, you have to file with Mass DLT, which we did. Right. Um, and their one of their questions or one of their requests were that we file with the Conservation Commission get the, to get their approval, get your approval. Yeah. So that's when we filed the RDA, and that's why we're here. So. And again, we kick it up and down the tree depending on where it has to go, and we follow basically what they give us for suggestions. So, I mean, again, we can wait a little bit and see what DOT comes back with. Maybe they'll say you're all set and you can continue as planned. I don't Maybe. think it's DOT, it's, it's Mark or, too. Yeah. Um, and he suggests, you know, get Yeah, when we had people. already submitted to DOT and their only request was that we get an RDA here. And so that's the only thing at, at DOT. Well, he, like I said, he wanted to uh, make sure that they are aware of it first. And then he did say because of the intermittent stream, or what they're calling it. And again, they're going by what they have on their maps, not physically at that location. So, so he said that area could be, that's Mark's feeling. He, you know, he looked it up on their maps and satellite shots and stuff. So, mm -hmm. so a little more investigation or you, 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 you know, we do, uh, when's you know, your next meeting or at the uh, November 21st. So what, what is the board requesting of us? Uh, we need more information on if the, that is considered a wetland area or resource area there. You know, is it considered a intermittent stream? I mean, they're doing a general drainage ditch through the whole thing. Well, they, yeah, and some of their literature or some of their documentation that they submitted to you, uh, along with a notice of intent. I mean, they they classify it um, as a intermittent stream slash drainage channel. Right. Swale. And again, they yeah, probably swale. mostly go on what they have for current maps. Yeah. And like what Mark suggested is if you hire your own analyst, if he goes in there and says, nope, that's a dry thing, fill it in, put a pipe, and you're done, then that gives you ammo to them to, you know, proceed as planned. I think that's where they're going with it is they already yeah, have it marked as wet, so they're not going to do anything until they have somebody <coughs> with an official stamp that says it is or isn't. And unfortunately, that's not us. Yeah, he might suggest that you put a larger pipe in, but you might have to because if it is a filling in an area that you know is a within the buffer zone, or then you might have to find another, you know, to uh, what do I want to call it? Just create another little area, you know. No reclamation. Yeah. Or yeah. I, yeah. I know what you're trying to say, but yeah. So Give some wetlands back for what you take. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I mean, it's, it's, I, it's, it's, it's like I say, you know, we yeah. can. Well, I guess my, my issue is the, that the board keeps bringing up DEP. And so if we hire somebody, we hire a wetland scientist our own, and then we give that to you, are then you going to present that to DEP? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because it's it's your decision. But DEP is our consulting body that I understand that. provides feedback yeah. and you know. I'm just I'm trying to skip a step because they're already agreeing with the DOT, which plans. could very well be. Uh, well, we can too. If that's what back. you want us to do. We can sign sign the RDA and say it is. You're going to be filling in a wetland area or a resource area, and it is you know under the jurisdiction of the wetland regulations. And then you'll file a notice of intent, which means you get out there and you do the, you know, investigation and uh, fill out, you know, whatever they need. And then DEP gets that and they review all that. And then we get comments from DEP. So we don't sign until it's like on that five and ten. Mark had comments and they adjusted the plans because he reviewed them and <laughs> right. And then once he does and they present it and it seems reasonable for what they did, they did what uh, you know, explain the comments on the uh, changes and everything and 
So that's, that's where it goes. We're, we're just not automatically signing. We got the you know, complete power. It's DEP. You gotta please them. And we're going, there are, you know, they assist us. So I guess one uh, question would be, if we were to get a uh, environmental consultant uh, to look at the area and he does a report and that we provide that to you and to Mark Stenson uh, during a continuation of the RDA filing, yeah. Would that be acceptable to um, continue on? And if he feels that it's not a you know, resource area, it disagrees with Mass DOT's plans, or their consultant, I guess, um, then I guess it's to the commission to, or through consultation with Mark Stenson at DEP, whether um, we can file, keep, you can approve the project through the RDA filing, or if you're going to or require, see what he suggests, right? Right. Yeah. Another fi filing. Correct. Right. I mean, it just you probably have to you know, either way. You got to investigate it more, mm -hmm. and uh, so if we just continue it, you you know, and if you don't have it done by that, we'll just continue it, you know, until the next meeting. If you can't get you know somebody to look at it or. But you know, once Mark reviews it, what what's been found, mm -hmm. it's a whole separate project. Basically, that's what it is. We can't say it's part of the five and ten. You know, that that's all I'm saying. And so we can continue it with no, you know, no problem. You just get get that information, have it have it investigated that area if there's a wetland or not. You know, the wetland scientists will. Uh, Either mark it, and then you'll have to have some flags to have it flagged. If it is. If it is, or what he says, and then right. put it on the plans. You know, just add them to the plans, and uh, and then we'll accept them as new uh, or changes to it for the RDA. And if, like I say, if there isn't an issue with uh, wetlands, then we would sign off on it. And if they think that there is wetlands there, then Going to go through the process of the NOI. No. But DEP will be reviewing it, so it's not just us. Okay. Well, okay. Continue it. Yep. Yep. To 21st, you said? That's Correct. 21st, yeah. November 21st. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Thank you. I, I didn't think it was going to be uh, still 7, correct? Yes. Yeah, 7 o'clock. Yeah, I know. You ride by, it just looks like, a, you know, a drainage swale, but with what went on up, up north of you, with the Cumberland Farms and the wetland issues there and that whole area and the wetlands across the street and stuff, I guess they... So, like I say, he'll... Your wetland scientists will look at all that, mm -hmm. that area. Okay. That'll thank you. include, you know, the same size and. Yep. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. So we agreed to continue to the 21st yes. Yes. for additional info. I think that that's the best option for. For them, um. yeah. I mean, it's, it's you know, you like you said, you go by that five and ten plan, yeah. but that you know, they're just yep, yep. That, that should be. They're not really probably investigated because if they what if they consider it, then it's already there. Yeah. You know, yeah. instead of trying to piecemeal yeah. and say no, this section isn't. So. Yeah. Yeah, they're probably not interested in trying to do it. They know the wetlands probably cheaper no, just to drain those yeah. out there. And just be done the whole with thing it. is <clears throat> that way. Okay, so we are continuing it for additional info. Okay, what is the other old business here? Okay, uh, American Way Dumont Company certificate of compliance. 
we, uh, of course, we went out there. That's mm -hmm. where they, you know, they had the tree, and uh -huh. I, had, I talked to uh, Tony Wyseki, and uh, he's he's with SVE Associates, and he's the engineer for the project, or was the engineer, and uh, he went out there, and he said that they sodded the area close, you know, up near that retention pond. Mm -hmm. And uh, they replanted a tree, and they did more landscaping, but some of it hasn't started yet. Mm. So he suggests wait until next next month. Okay. Hopefully something grows. But I took a ride out there the other day before. You know, it's getting chilly. Definitely ain't growing much right now. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> But uh, he said it looks good, you know, and it, it looked good. There's a lot of green sod, you know, right next to the building, almost like a, like a, you know, a, you building know, creaking. Football, yeah, football field there, almost all nice sod, yeah, and, and yeah. but there's still growth to be on uh, to the north side a little bit. So he said just the way is, so we can continue it till okay, till next. Uh, Next meeting, November 21st. Let's see. Okay, five and 10. Okay, we approved. Let's see, is this it? Okay, this is it. And Priscilla got this filled out. So I gotta finish putting a few things in, but order conditions. Let's see, today's date, I guess we... Nineteen, number of signers, three. So they did uh, drop off plans that were signed. That's what we were waiting for. Stamped and signed. Mm -hmm. So well, that, that was pretty much it. So we'll sign that and get that off to them. Signed up. You got the uh, new business corner of Mill new Village. New business, yes. Uh, Mill Village Road and Greenfield Road. Greenfield Road. Yeah. Property uh, Greg Gardner owns, and we did a uh, we had an RDA out there that we had done three years ago. I guess it's coming to an end. So he was looking for a uh, extension. And I talked to DEP, and you cannot get an extension on an RDA. You can get one on an order of conditions, you know, okay. like this Greenfield here. If they don't get going with the road, yeah, you know, we can uh, we can sign off on an extension, but not on an RDA. So he's going to have to submit a new RDA. Okay. And I talked to him, let him know. And uh, so he was you know, a little concerned that it was going to end, but now it doesn't matter. So okay, he can just you know apply for it, and then we'll just have to go out there again and revisit, revisit. Okay. So so applicant was notified that yeah that uh, he cannot extend it. Okay.
That's about it. We got mail and minutes. Mail and minutes. Let's see. Let's do the. Priscilla change a couple of things or add yep. a couple there, and mm -hmm. I guess you agreed. And yeah, I agreed in the in the email. Yes. I think it's pretty much what. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's any other changes. I make a motion to approve as presented tonight. No second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So minutes were approved. Unless you want a copy, you got it no, on thank you. electronic there. So I can do is a oh back on that uh, Dumont. He uh, Tony had sent me uh, some pictures. I forgot this. You know, just forward it to you guys, just uh -huh. so you can look to yeah, see yeah. if you, yeah. you can just see what what's what it looks like. But they fixed that erosion too. Good. You know, that was the main thing. Yeah. And the tree. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a nice property. Yeah. Let's see. We did that. This was. We looked at that last meeting. No new mail? Mail? No. It's, well, there's just talking about that fall, that fall conference, which conference. was last weekend. Did you go? So I was supposed to go. I had some family um, uh, concerns at the last minute, so I had to cancel. Um, but I plan on going to the next one. Oh, okay. I was really looking forward to going. Yeah, I to, thought you were going. I forgot I, all about to ask. Yeah, you. I was really looking forward to going to it. I had to cancel at the last moment, but it's it looked like it was a good agenda. Yeah. And Mark was recommending not us, but just us, but that conservation commission start to attend these events. Yeah. And no, we have. I guess we have some money, so yeah. to cover that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, the conference last year in March was great. So I, I hope to go again soon. Okay. Uh, what did I do? No other, uh, any other business? Uh, we're going to have uh, Eversource come in. Next meeting, yeah, they got an RDA out for uh, some uh, new uh, power line uh, powers. And there's a couple little spots that are uh, in wetland areas. But, you know, they got to uh, they got to do it. And mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, Eversource, I guess it's still Eversource, has uh, has you know a procedure for uh, bringing in mats if need to be and all that, so they're going to present present it. And, and seeing it's getting dark so early now, I'd like to, uh, and we might have you know some other business come up. Is uh, site visits on Saturday morning if that you guys can uh, that might work for you guys. Yeah. Probably like um, the Saturday before the meeting. Yeah, I think that that's a better plan than trying to do it at 5 or yeah. 5.15. Because it, it's going to be dark, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah I like that point. idea. Time's clocking back here pretty soon. Yeah, because we've done that on Saturdays. Yeah. Just, you know, 9 o'clock yeah. or somewhere around there, whatever, yeah. if that works. But yeah, I, I like that idea. Really don't want to interrupt the beauty sleep. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Give you time to get up and get a coffee and bring it with you. So... Yeah, so I, that's what I plan on, you know, like okay. the week before, you know, and, and like Eversource has one, I think it's on Lower Road, we can at least go to one. The other one's 
way out in the woods. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think. Uh, I got a dirt bike. I'll meet you out there. Hit that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bring an extra one. I used to ride. <laughs> so uh, I like that idea. Yeah. So that's what uh, you know. I'd like to do is do that on the Saturday before uh, the next meeting, and I'll set it up with with uh, Eversource or the consultant there. Good. I see nothing. No other new stuff that I see. Well, I guess we'll uh, set date for next meeting for November 21st. November 21st. Sounds good. At 7 p.m. 7 p.m. And I guess I'll make a motion to adjourn. And I'll second that. that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes, so sir. adjourn at 740.